Hello traders, welcome back to Learn to Trade YouTube uh, channel. So um, today I will talk about US dollar versus the Swiss franc and I will talk about uh, an imminent uh, breakdown, a potential breakdown and uh, downside continuation. Right now uh, the currency pair moves uh, sideways. So um, um, as you already know, personally I'm still holding my uh, my buy stop in US dollar versus the Mexican peso but uh, if that uh, that setup will be invalidated maybe I will uh, I will catch um, a US dollar short in the in the short term okay so here is the disclaimer please uh, please read it uh, you can email support if you have questions guys and uh, don't forget that uh, if you want to join us if you want to join the VIP group uh, if you are not a VIP member already you can access the link uh, posted right below this video or you can use this uh, this link from here you can type it manually in your browser don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel as well yeah so um us dollar versus the swiss franc unfortunately and uh earlier today i've talked about the dollar index um when i've talked about my my thought process the rationale behind my uh my pending order in uh us dollar versus the mexican peso i've talked about the dollar index unfortunately it has failed to stay above to stay to stabilize above 104.62 above the the weekly pivot point so right now uh this uh this sell off forced the us dollar to depreciate but uh, don't forget that this could still be only a temporary drop before um, developing a new leg higher okay that's why personally um, I was looking for uh, for potential US dollar longs but in the short term if this uh, sell-off will uh, will continue will uh, resume if we'll have a deeper drop then maybe we can uh, look for potential uh, US dollar shorts in the short term so US dollar versus the Swiss franc let's take a look here because uh, after uh, after its massive uh, after its massive sell-off you can see that uh, the price uh, moves uh, somehow sideways between 0 0.9711 uh, 0 0.9629 here it has registered only a false breakout sell-off test retest and uh, um, because the price uh, failed to to come back higher towards uh, 0 0.9711 towards this former high it has signaled that the downside pressure is high the sellers are strong and um, staying near 0 0.9629 could uh, could signal maybe an imminent breakdown and the potential uh, value breakdown below this level a new lower low could uh, could activate could open the door for a uh, for a uh, maybe deeper drop downside continuation maybe at least uh let's say uh, at least towards this uh this key level this lower low 0 0.9544 okay so right now um uh this uh this sideways movement okay could represent a uh, distribution before extending its uh, its sell-off but um, as you can see right now it's um it's far from being confirmed as long as it stays above this former former uh, former lows because uh i don't know it could only test retest uh, again uh, this level 0 0.9629 before uh, developing a new leg higher so that's why i need confirmation here i don't want to to go short at market and uh i don't know maybe i will decide later if i'll uh, if i will uh, go short maybe with uh with a pending order with a sell stop maybe l below these former lows but you have to be careful uh personally i will share my trade into the vip group and uh if you are not a vip member you will not get um, the exact levels because you have to be careful here because i don't know the price uh, could uh, register false breakdowns right below 0 0.9629 uh maybe like this breakdown here before um, and it could uh, false breakdowns here could signal maybe a new bullish momentum or something so that's why it's uh, also risky to to place a sell stop right below this uh, this former former lows but uh, as i've said and uh, technically also after its failure here to to hit uh, the former uh, the former high the, um, the higher high here uh, signaled the strong sellers in the short term also um, um, maybe and technically after it sell off something like a, like a sideways movement its failure also here to stay to stabilize above 0 0.9711 um signaled uh, that uh, the sellers are still strong and um yeah maybe a new lower low could activate a potential sell off towards this former former low okay so um i will come back maybe with uh with my potential trade into the vip group if i'll have confirmation as i've said i'm waiting for um for the price to maybe to make a very break down so don't forget to so learn to trade forex signals um if you want to become a vip member support uh, if you have questions and also please uh visit um our youtube channel you can learn a lot from our uh, videos 
Uh, please subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Thank you, guys.